Morning. Or afternoon, I guess. Smidley. What's up? Well, uh, you know. Yeah. Just living life. Living life. Okay, cool. Oh. Sounds uh, like you have a, a thirst for living. Um, so you said you had a plan already. So let's uh, yeah. let's start there, I guess. Okay, so I'm. I think I'm really close to switching off of the boss accessory set. Yeah. Um, I've got the path mark. I cannot get a good flame on it to save my life, mm -hmm. but that's a normal problem. Uh, I've already got the monocle. I've already got the Sweetwater tattoo. Uh, I've got two pieces of superior Galax gear, uh, a second belt drop yesterday. Um, oh yeah, when you needed it, you ring. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, and I'm like 200 coins away from getting the pendant. So mm -hmm. um, basically a 5, 10, 15 event comes along and like all of my boss accessory stuff, like, minus, you know, the cup and the, the badge just go away. Um, okay. So between that and slowly working on some actual damage gear in my accessories, uh, you know, I, I really think that Normal Lucid shouldn't just cuck me every time anymore. <laughs> yeah, you mean like in a in a full party though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, because you seem like you're gonna have like a decent amount of lines output just spamming your macro, right? Uh, between macro, uh, Astra, and the, the bird tornado thing, uh, yeah, where it's actually useful in phase one. Yeah. <laughs> and then in phase two, where it's just like, see ya, and then. Yep. Oh, <laughs> you see, I, like, the I top of it. it in phase two. It's not worth the summon time. <laughs> no, do, do you sometimes see the top of it, like, pass by on the bottom of the map if it falls all no. the way to the bottom? Or is it no, not tall I enough? I don't even look for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if she ever goes down, you could just throw it, at, throw it down, and then just maybe you, you actually hit it as one of the only people in the run. <laughs> it could be. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, so your next step is like, um, ping bean belt transfer hammering. Yep. Uh. So one of the big questions I've got like seven and a half bill saved up right now. Uh. By the time awake hits, I should have closer to ten bill. Mm -hmm. Uh. If everything works out like it's supposed to over the next couple of days, um. Does it make more sense to just you know, star force one of the pink bean belts to like 16 stars and transfer it into the superior one of the superior belts or should i just go straight for 21 since i have uh 23 24 backups you have a bunch of backups yeah um, yeah and i really want them out of inventory <laughs> yeah this well yeah this this should be definitely the amount to do it the thing is like the uh, the amount that it'll cost you um even during a 5, 10, 15, I feel like it... It's like 10 bill. Uh, with, on average, 8 booms, I think. It's 140... No save, 0... No... Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's actually not too bad. Range of booms zero to twenty-eight. One guy did not have a good day there. Oof. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I with the amount of backups I have, uh, I have a ninety-five percent chance. Yeah, to, yeah, to no, get that's, there, so that's pretty good. Range of costs six hundred twenty-five mil to seventy-six bill. Wow, one guy just one tap straight to twenty-one. Must be nice. Yeah, and the other guy had a probably about a week after that. Oof. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's not a good time. Um, yeah, median cost is only like six point seven. That's not too bad. But, um, well, one thing that you do you have a heart? I don't. I have the. Um, I don't have a good heart anyway. Oh, lithium. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the one from the Adele event, you whatever know. that was called. Rise. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Names. But hey, I mean, it doesn't look like we're getting a heart. Although we won't find out until tomorrow. Oh, so. yeah, yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be in there, but um, it might be only visible to reboot, and that's why we can't see it in a test server, I think, maybe. Um, 
I don't know. If, but even if they would give it to none, yeah, I don't know why they wouldn't give it to none reboot. I don't yeah. know. If it's not in there at all, though, that's I mean, yeah, yeah. possible. Makes yeah, it easier for you to decide. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. The whole reason that I have eight bill saved up is just in case, like, there is some actually worth it stuff. Yeah. Uh, compared to what I could spend on my gear. Mm-hmm. And so you'll get up to ten. Yeah. Yeah, you're mainly just holding out to uh, get your um, Gullick set complete. Yep. Do you have any um, reinforced earrings that you can transform into? Uh, I don't. Uh, so I'll most likely just get a straight 0 to 17 those. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Well, you've been doing Helix, right? You haven't gotten a single one? Nope. Damn, that's unfortunate. Might be one of those things where you kind of treat them as the shoulders, where you, you know, you just get a 17, but then you build up backups as you go, mm. so that the next time you go for a, a huge upgrade round. Yeah, that makes sense. And then this thing, drop. Man, that aquatic ladder eye accessory hurts. I know, <laughs> man. Let's get some drop. Rolls three line. Thank you, game. <laughs> And I, I couldn't bring myself to roll over it either. No, I feel that. <laughs> um, yeah, so like which amount of stars to go for is like your main question now, right? Uh, basically. Um, cause that's going to determine how much I have left for cubing, which changes like what I should be cubing. Uh, I think the next real cubing project is the... Um, Princess no secondary, so I can replace my 12 strength. Yep. Uh, 18 attack. 18 attack. Secondary. Yeah. Yeah, that seems good. Yep. And then once that's you know three useful lines, I can start getting rid of some of this IED. My yep. God. <laughs> You've got a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah. Then just one by one go through the abzos because there's definitely yep. some gains there to be made. That's. Uh, um. In general, there's also still some gains to be made on your flames. Yep. Uh, are you flaming the pants now? Is that what you're working on? Uh, no, every flame I get is going to the pat mark. Oh, right, yeah. And I think the, the best flame I've seen so far is, uh, you know, like 55 or something. Just, that's it? Just 55? Mm, yep. Unfortunate. Yeah, it'll happen one day. Yeah, it's true, but you also don't want to, um, forego, like, all of your progress because of that. Let's say you throw like 10 flames onto your pants and you gain like 60 stats compared to what you have now, or you throw oh, 10 flames sure. on your pet mark and you don't get anything there, then at least you got 60 stats in the meantime, right? Yeah. The pants still have like a lot of room for growth, right? It only has five attacks, so. Yeah, they were better and then I threw a couple flames on and got. Yeah, those uh, single RNG. flames are such bait where you're yep. like, oh, I don't want to waste the flame, but then you don't waste the item, the flame, but then you waste your actual flame on your <laughs> on your item, and then it's like, that wasn't a win, <laughs> but you get baited into it because of the the shiny expiration thing that's flashing for 24 hours. And well, the shoes are quite nice. Yeah, the gloves also have some room for improvement on a uh, when it comes to uh, flame. Cape yep. has a little bit of room as well. I think my average flames in the 60s right now, which is pretty bad. Yeah, if you can get all of those up to 80s, that definitely adds up to to a lot of extra stat. But yeah, it's it's probably better to not like spend on flames now. Um, yeah, the petmark situation. Yeah, yeah. I I feel so. What were you aiming for? Just anything over 100 or? Yep. Uh, anything over 100. Now not. Not like I'm gonna turn down a you know, 125 if it just <laughs> happens to show up. Ew, ew, 125. <laughs> Don't want it. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. <laughs> now, um, so the main reason I've been putting all of my flames towards the pat mark is I can clear all of the bosses that I want to solo right now. Yeah, right? mm -hmm. makes sense. Minus mechanics, like I can clear Lucid, right? Mm -hmm. So while more damage might make Lucid easier, it's still possible. Yeah. No, it makes it sense. You're, you're doing more long-term upgrading, so this one makes more sense to set in place first, and then you can start working on it, transposing, and everything that yep. comes from it. Yeah. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. 
Um, but yeah, you'll you're basically setting up for like the huge switch, right? Where you're basically yep. just switching out like eighty percent of your accessories. Basically, yeah. Um, and have you looked at ring wise? Have you looked at like Meister and that kind of stuff? Uh, yeah. So I've been slowly building up my, you know, uh, crafting material bank. Uh, I still only have two primals, so I was, I was hoping to get three or four before I, you know, push yep. that hard for for Meister. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, between that and then after I get this, uh, the Galax Pendant, the next purchase is the Reinforced Ring, which should give me my, uh, my four damaged, damage rings. Right, right, yeah. You have, yeah, you're still gated by the, uh, the access to the coins there. Yep. Um, okay. Yeah, that makes sense that you're waiting for that. Um, put my there. Oh, oh got a little cough there. <laughs> Yeah, that was the. <laughs> Every time I want to call, the puffer decides he needs to protect. Yeah. So. Um. I think with your hyper stats, you you probably like slowly over time just been adding a point into attack power whenever you had enough. Yeah. That's what it looks yeah. like. But I think you're probably at the point now where if you reset. Uh, those points that are now into uh, into decks and into attack power that might actually lead to one or two more points into like damage or uh... at this point probably adding the critical rate will also add a decent amount of damage right uh so right now it's like every two points in crit in crit rate is roughly like it's a little bit less than one percent in crit damage as a vicious shot. Yeah. Uh, but it's also only up, you know, a quarter of the time. So. Yeah. Well, a quarter of the time with the, your other all 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 your other buffs, though, right? Yeah. So it's like even quarter up time, it might represent like half of your damage or something, right? True. Um. Hmm. But at least it'll it'll be able to increase your boss damage, right? Oh yeah, definitely. So. Well, I, I mean, like, your, um, if you were to reset the points from dex and mm -hmm. from uh, attack power, uh, I don't know how many points that is exactly, but that might be, like, two extra points in boss damage, which would be 8% boss damage, which will, I think, represent more damage than the attack power and the uh, and the dex now. Probably. Yeah. Uh, I'll throw it in the calculator when I, you know, yeah. I don't, yeah, I was going to say, like, I don't know to which extent you've already thrown it into a calculator, because that's when, with critical rate and everything, it gets pretty complicated, and you have to have a calculator to do it, because how, with Vicious Shot and everything, like, I can't do those maths in my brain, it's, <laughs> that's too much yep. for me. Um, okay, and then set bonus, and I'm going to keep that five. Yeah, yeah. You're just so it's mainly like the Gallux coins that you're waiting for, and then you have to get yeah, you know, yeah. You just want to get a good flame on the on the Papalatus mark. Do, like, do you get a decent amount of flames per, every week or? Uh, so Ranmaru has been a little stingy. Uh, I'm getting one or two a day. Like most, usually one. Uh, occasionally, I'll get the second one from him. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I've only really been running all of the bosses on the Pathfinder. Like. I just I don't have time to to mm. run Lakana or yeah uh, mm -hmm. you know to run multiple characters yeah <laughs> yeah it's crazy how just doing it on like three or four characters instead of one it just it goes from like taking a week to doing it to taking a month to doing it you know because yeah. that, that that there's such a huge it's almost like a force amplifier just by throwing more bodies at the problem you can get so much stuff done so much faster like with my um project CRA, right? If I just yeah. do one character at a time, then it can take forever to get a badge. But if I do five or six characters a day, then almost every day, at least one character gets it. So overall, you're, you're progressing um, way faster if you just, yeah, because you're just gated all the time by the daily limit. So I don't know, yeah. Just squeezing in one or two extra Ramaroos could already make a huge difference since he has such a good drop rate for uh, for flames. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, I mean, if you don't have the time, but I don't know if you can park like one or two characters at Remaru and just like run in Remaru, run out. That's um, not a bad idea. And then just, yeah, 
just wait until you see the flames blinking, then just throw them all in storage one time, and then put the character back. Because you don't even have to walk back, right? You can just use the te the teleport to Arden Mill. There's very limited um, time needed to uh, to move around the sure. map, so. Um, don't even need a hyper rock. I'll yeah, like yeah, exactly. You don't, and the money doesn't go into the hyper rock as well. That's that's a bigger thing, right? Because once you buy a weak hyper rock, then you feel more pressure to do it every single day, and that might end up being a negative because then you're like, no, now you're letting the game play you instead of you playing the game. You like you feel pressured, yeah. and then yeah, that that l relinquishing that level of control is typically what leads to people burning out where they don't feel like they're in control anymore. And then once that realization sinks in that you haven't been in control for a while, then it's like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> And then you hear people that quit for a bit and are like, I don't feel like going back at all. Like, I don't even know why I was still logging in for the last two months. Like, and at that point, yeah, that's when you've gone too far. So you get you got to yeah, try to find, keep that balance of making the progress that you want without it going at the expense of other stuff that you've got to do. So I, I think, th yeah, that's like one of the smallest things you can do, I think, to significantly speed that process up. Because if you have to do it on one extra character, you're already doubling your speed, which is a huge increase. Definitely true. Because um, I think you have some drop on there, right? On the Kana? The, I yeah. think I'm just missing one line of Mezzo. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. You got yeah. like an old spider and some holy symbol. Oh, or... no, I've never had a spider. Oh, rip. Oh, yeah, you were, you're yeah. post-spider completely, right? Yep. Sometimes I forget how new you are. I feel like you've been here forever. Uh, yeah, so I'm sort of new, sort of old. Um, I've My relationship with MapleStory goes back forever, but I always take, like, huge breaks. Mm -hmm. um, and I would, when I actually found your stream, I was about to take a huge break because I had hit my goal, right? I had never had a 200 uh, character before. Mm -hmm. um, and that the first time you hit you know, vanishing journey and you can't kill anything. It's really demotivating. It's like, a huge, hey, I hit 200, yeah. you know, the two friends that I started playing have already dropped off. Well, I guess I'm done. Yeah. And then, you know, and then you realize um, you just finished the tutorial only and you're like, Oh shit, there's so much oh, yeah. to do. Yep. So then found your stream, got caught up in a, a, a meme CRA struggle and <laughs> true. We did sure did struggle those first two times. <laughs> they were, those were some bad runs. Uh, but it was fun was it though. Four it it was it was a lot of fun. Four attempts for clown. Um, I think so. Yeah, I, I know. I full healed him once with the the tempest. The tempest. Yeah. Oh yeah, I imagine you like yeah. you fire it away and then he switches and you're like, uh oh, <laughs> do I say something and or do I just let them figure it out? <laughs> <laughs> and there's no way to cancel it either. Like no. the only way to get it off the map is to die. Yeah. I think we made the joke that at some point there were eight clowns in a map. <laughs> <laughs> I think we six oh, man or maybe seven. Were we like five manning it, six manning it? I don't know. It was uh, fun. It depends on the week. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I know the the first time we definitely six manned it back when we had the the powerhouse Dark Knight. Yeah, yeah. He was our carry basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does sush carry? Oof. Mm. Good times so, yeah. though. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I have been slowly working on getting the, um, the level three links and keeping yep. the Legion growing at least a little bit. Um, no, oh, yeah, I see you made some good gains there. That's, uh, Legion is looking healthy. Yep. Yep. Uh, so right now I'm got the Aaron sitting at Commercy trying to get a weapon, um, just, you know, getting ready to take the arc, uh, from 140 to 160 to try to get the... Uh, the mercy weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't decided if I'm gonna just, you know, power level them all to like 200 and leave them, or 210 and, you know, get carried in mm -hmm. CRA just to make the those last 10 levels not terrible. I don't know. Uh, for which character? Oh shit. Yeah, I got a little bit distracted uh, by that. Somebody, <laughs> I thought somebody subbed, yeah. but somebody gifted 10 oh. subs. Holy shenanigans shit. coming back in. Who is that? Smidley? No. No That's, shenanigans. Who is, yeah, it, who's it's, cosplaying as me? What yeah. the hell? <laughs> yeah, somebody. <laughs> somebody's doing a Smidley slash Murio cosplay. Um. Yeah. Uh. So I think the next four are Ark, uh, 
Aaron, uh, DA, and uh, well, Delumi's almost there. It's like 205. Okay. So. So you're just trying to hit all of those level three links and maybe DS as well. DS has got that 20% boss. Yeah. That's pretty big as well. Yeah. DS is somewhere in the queue. Um, yeah. the, the plan is to get all of the characters, like all 40 of them to 210 plus, just so I have more Legion than you. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, so that should put me at like 8450, I think. If I did the math right. Maybe 8500. Yeah. The... I just lost all mode. Once I passed 8k, I very quickly went to like 8.3 because you just finish getting everything at level 200. And then because a bunch of characters are a little bit higher, you very quickly get to like 8.2 or 8.3. But then the, mm. the, to get motivation to get from there to 8.5 is like, you got to get so many levels all on level 200 plus characters just to put one more character in your grid. And yep. in the beginning, if you have like six characters and you add one, that's a decent chunk. But if you have 36 and you go from 36 to 37, it's like, uh, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> that's barely noticeable. So at that point, I didn't have any motivation anymore. Yeah. Well, not all of us have, you know, the lab blocks. So yeah, those are huge. That's true. That's true. Comparatively, that makes it. Uh, oh, yeah. So I'm technically going from like 38 to 39. So it's even percentage, percentage wise, it's even smaller. You're right. Yeah, I wonder if they'll bring Lab back, dude. I wonder, I hope that they do, because that new Lab looked cool as well with uh, Sickness Knights only. Yeah, but I mean, that was, what, two years ago? And, I mean, Nexon's slow, so. but they're not normally that slow. Well, the, um... Wait, you mean that it wasn't TMS? Yeah. Has it been that long already? Like... Oh, I don't know. I'm just gathering information through chat. I wasn't around for it, so... Well, the last lab was, I think, two years ago, but then TMS had their own lab server. I think it was... Was it earlier this year? Guys, when, does, can I... Wait, okay, can any of my internet detectives go look when TMS had their, uh, their Cygnus Knight lab? I think it was earlier this year. If I had to guess. Um, but yeah, that seems like a good list of, um, of level 3 links to work on. Um, other than that... And you've worked in all of the changes, right, that are coming with, because uh, I don't know if you're working on a Dominator pendant for, uh, you have a 40 and 5, oh, that's pretty good. Are you going to keep that? Yeah. Uh, I'll probably keep that as a uh, drop gear. As drop, yeah. Yeah, uh, but I have eight doms right now, so. Okay, so that's like the yeah. flaming project after <laughs> after Pebble out of Spark. Yeah. That'll be the next one. Um, yeah. But. You know, I don't have to worry about the gall exchange because, you know, only yep. I don't have any pendants at all. So. You're already on the way there, yeah. So you just, yeah. you don't have to, like, throw the the rudder, like, <laughs> yeah, all the way to the other side. You just have to steer a little bit more to one side. That's fine. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, I got to start doing Commercy again. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Do you have any backup Daenerys? I have 167 right now, which yeah. is not even enough to <laughs> do the transpose. <laughs> Really, unless I get lucky. Yeah, that's only like a uh, day and a half of transposing. Yeah. Yeah. Which reminds me, after transpose, remind me in chat later, guys, because I keep I'm gonna keep forgetting that. Um. Yeah, I'm afraid you're really at that situation where kind of um you have to do like a bunch of things a little bit, and all of them are time gated. So if you want to progress, you're gonna have to. Rather than just do like one sitting of four hours and just make a bunch of gains, you have to log in every day and do a little bit every day. And that's the only way to to get ahead. And that's how they get you, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Hmm. It's okay. A little bit of effort a day goes a long way. Yeah, but I mean, it's like, I don't want to tell you that you have to, but it's kind of what's required at this point. So it's still up to you to decide, like, if you don't feel like it, you're like, fuck it. That's why I like to set a routine where I can do as many things as possible so that if I ever feel like saying fuck it, then I can just say fuck it and I don't have to feel bad about it at all. Because I know in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't make that, I don't lose out on that much. But the problem is if you don't have the things in your routine already and then you don't feel like it, then it feels even worse because it's like, well, I already don't do it ever, like... But now I have the opportunity, so now I should be doing it. And then you start making yourself feel bad for not playing the game the way that the game wants to be played. 
and that's like not very healthy either so yeah no i refuse to give the game that much <laughs> control over me yeah exactly yeah uh, no that's good that you draw yeah. the line there <laughs> yeah no i've already done that once with a, a game mm -hmm. and it's not i've lost three years of my life like i'm not doing that again yeah i think we've all <laughs> done that at least once in the past and we're like okay i need yeah. to <laughs> i need to do a little bit better here i need to set some boundaries going into this yeah, uh, so the game was Destiny 1 uh, on the Xbox One, and mm -hmm. I put 2,400 hours into it mm -hmm. in the span of a year and a half or mm -hmm. two years or something. Like, I was playing that game 12 hours a day on average every day. Yeah, that it sounds like a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Is that like a FPS MMO? Sort of. It's... It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's gone now. <laughs> it's gone. It's dead. Yeah. I thought that so. Destiny 2, when it came out, that it it seemed to not like it was not going to have a great shelf life, but somehow it managed to stay afloat. Uh, Bungie ditched Activision and started making their own game again. That's what happened, and like, and that's what brought the Destiny 2 like back from the brink. Ah. But uh, yeah, okay. I've avoided jumping back in because I will get lost. Yeah, yeah, because of what happened before. Yep. So is it is Activision like the the bane of games at this point? Like, uh, Activision and EA are both like they. It's like they are trying to compete against each other to, <laughs> to who's be the shittiest be the worst producer. <laughs> I see. Yeah, I mean, I don't typically think like that about like when i hear a name and then think like oh they're probably gonna destroy it but like my my first love in video games was um was command and conquer that was made by westwood studios mm -hmm. and they got bought by ea and yeah let's just say oh. that whole franchise kind of got run into the ground yeah. so <laughs> not a huge fan of everything that went on there but I've, yeah. I've, I've played other EA games that I liked. I mean, and there's some of the games that came out were still really good. Like Generals and Zero Hour were really good. And that was all under EA as well. So, I don't know. They focus yeah. very heavily on those sports games, right? They have a lot of those co coming out. True. Very true. And typically, I think those are pretty good. Uh, they're very similar each year. So, as yeah. long as they don't break anything, they'll be okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like for FIFA, they just have to update the teams, get like one extra ball handling action in there, and they're good. Um, uh, hmm. phrasing. <laughs> Wait, you're not into your <laughs> ball handling. <laughs> hey, I was trying to keep the, the stream. Where's your mind going? going? Like I'm talking about, I'm talking about the chest <laughs> control, you know, mm -hmm. the spin around, the loop de loop, the the helicopter. You ever do? <laughs> <laughs> the helicopter. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah. So the the basic plan, just to summarize, mm -hmm. is keep working on Galix, um, flame the pack mark. Probably try to get some more flames through Ran Maru. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably park the Kana and the Hero there. Yeah, I just noticed your Hero is pretty high level too. I forgot about that one. That one should yeah. very easily be able to just walk in, dumpster it, and walk out. So he's high level and still like six K stat. <laughs> Well, you I do have, really, a, yeah. Yeah, I, I could never get plus one attack speed on him, and after dumping a bill and a half at his IA, I just gave up on <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah, fuck that. Wait, six no. k though? Is he really six k stat? It's like six or seven k. Yeah. Damn. Uh, with that. four piece abso, thanks to JHK. Nice. So, like, yeah, I'm one lucid clear from five set abso, and still, like, haven't done anything with Star Force on him. Haven't done mm. any potentials. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one day, he's just like. I mean, if you go in, in rage mode, it should still dumpster run oh, yeah. pretty quickly. Oh yeah. Man, yeah. any yeah, other character? Be a problem at all. Yeah, I know. Like a Mercedes or something will just get one tap by it. Does too much yep. touch damage or random random long range damage out of nowhere sometimes. <laughs> yep. Um. Okay. Other than that, so, Legion yeah. build up seems good. Um. Yeah, the, the Narrows is going to be a thing, right? That's going to be a long-term thing. Yeah, so... Uh, I'm Right now, I'm not even worried about the Sweetwater Pendant. That's farther down the line. Mm -hmm. um, so, I'm not... As soon as the Transpose goes, like I'm not that worried about Commercy anymore. Uh, I mean, I'll still... If someone needs someone in, like, you know, to do CPQ, I'll, I'll hop in. But 
just sitting there holding the macro for five, ten minutes, literally not moving is just Yeah, I would do that, yeah. Content. I would focus on doing CPQ, just asking the chat. There's probably always one or two people who want to do, and then just get that one in, and then, and then scoot skedaddle, unless you really feel like you have a little bit yeah. of time or you feel like doing it. Yeah, that's what I would do. Yep. Time, uh, time then, wise, most efficient. Yep. Star Force, uh, a belt, so I can get rid of these 20 fucking backups. I mean, my god, that's so much space. The thing's considering, though, you still have a lot of space. <laughs> if you look at my inventories on my characters, I feel like oh, yeah. <laughs> look at my DA's uh, inventory is like, oof, I have nine spots available. <laughs> <laughs> well, 10 if you yeah. got this black hearted earrings, but. You also have 30 Dom pendants and then 15. <laughs> uh, you yeah, know, the superior um, pendants, yeah. Yep. And 8 belts. I've got the whole sweet water set going on here. But it just feels so bad to get rid of them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it does. What if something happens and we start and we need them all of a sudden, you know? And then. Yep. Like, like two extra. Star, you know, becomes available. Most you people just need a shitload of backups. Most people don't have this either. I have like the two extra badges, two extra Pepalatus mark. Oh wow. Hey, you uh, want to trade me one of those badges <laughs> real quick? Yeah, for uh, <laughs> for one of your uh, one of your belts. Yep. Mm, I don't know. It seems like a pretty juicy trade. I don't know. <laughs> um. So yeah. So I think the the first big money dump, at least into the Pathfinder, will be. Trying to uh, 21 star the uh, pink bean belt so I can just throw it at the uh, superior Galax belt and just mm -hmm. be done with it. Yep, and that'll yeah. be a huge upgrade because even a Sweetwater belt, uh, sorry, Sweetwater belt, the uh, superior belt by itself is a huge uh, stat yeah. boost. The other thing after that, I think, would be just your CRA stuff because you probably have the most backups for that. So that'll be like the, the safest next big upgrade to get those to high star force. Either that or Cape. I haven't decided which yet. Figured, you know, one project at a time. Yeah, Only but your cape is already... Well, it's 16, yeah. Absolute does get good extra stats. Yeah, that's true. Well, I can Star Force uh, one of the, um, the Zakum capes. Yeah. Right, and just go straight to 20 again. Yeah, so. as, as long as you, uh, yeah, that, that'll be one of the ways, and then you can actually try to min-max your potential a bit more on the items. Yep. Until then, you'll be in, like, in two-line limbo. Um, until you've solidified that. But, because the one thing is, um, even though the upgrade, you know, the stats gives you more per level up, because you're going into Abzo and everything. Um, but you do lose that one extra star, so if you're going to 21 cape... And since it's a level 150 item, that would have also have given you 21 PC array, right? And then you're left with the 21 PC array that you don't have to transfer into something anymore. Yeah, that's true. Um, so yeah, consider that. But it'll depend on how quickly you're making money and everything. You're still yeah. doing just like Ursus and Maple Tour? Uh, Ursus Maple Tour, and then I do have, you know, 100% Mezzo on the, the Pathfinder. So when I, I do train, mm -hmm. I, I think I average 800 mil a totem. Which, it's not great, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, no, 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 that's that's definitely decent. It all adds up for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. And, yeah, and um, you are between centering between that and the occasional boss crystal. Yes, and you're centering your uh, your upgrading around the events, so that always saves you a bunch of money as well. Yep. Mm. Yeah, it'll be very easy to say like, oh, just spend like five bill here, six bill there, and then just cube all of this, and then just star force this. But obviously, like if you had that money, you would have already spent it. Yeah. So you have to be a bit more calculated with where you go with everything. Yeah, if if they have the heart, oof, like if the heart is six bill or something, I probably wouldn't buy it in your situation. Oh, I'm, I won't. That's like um, too much. If, if it's if it's two bill, I yeah. still haven't really decided whether I want it or not. Mm -hmm. uh, I might just wait for the the one droid event. Yeah, it might be another year, but I mean, it's Maple Story. Yeah. <laughs> What's another year? <laughs> What's another year? True. Maybe you'll have a break in between, and then come back, and then it'll be like yeah. the last three days of one. <laughs> Being too easy. I hated when that happens to people. They're like, oh, I just. They're like, is there any good events going on? And they're like, oh yeah, you just came into like the last day of ancestral blessing, which was probably the best event Maple Story's ever had. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh. 
It was so good. The um the Celeste event, the Corona event. Oh yeah, the what was I it? Unending so night. Nodes. Yeah, it yep. was crazy the amount of nodes and and uh, symbol progress that people made. Kind of sucks is uh, that I was kind of done with all of my symbols and all of my characters, so <laughs> didn't get to. But I got I made a lot of money just when I was training on my main and getting so much yep. experience. I got five levels, so I can't really complain hey, there. Two seventy five win. Um, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Listen, you see, I was going to work on my characters from 200 to 210 during haste to see how many characters I've trained so far. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, zero. Okay. Um, flip around on me. Um, but looking at these numbers, this all looks very healthy. Except, yeah, I guess the boss damage can use a bump. But with those links um, and with a little bit more in Legion and everything, that will help. Are most of your characters that are in your Legion... I think the ones on the bottom right, a lot of those are level 140, right? Uh, yeah, almost all of them are 140. Yeah. I think I've got seven, 200, 200 plus now. Mm -hmm. Seven or eight. Yeah. I don't know. I lose track. There's so many characters. Oh, have you decided who you're going to terror burn? Uh, I know I'm terror burning the marksman, even though I already have it at 140. Uh, I have not decided what the second one is yet. Okay. Um, Do you have the Mihal level three link? I don't, but you know I'm US, so the the Mihal shield's really not that hard to use. Okay. Uh, Royal Guard or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um. How's your uptime now on the Mihal link for your Pathfinder? Because I assume it's pretty useful, right? Oh yeah, especially in Lucid. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> it's like eighty percent uptime or something. Okay. Yeah. So that level yeah. three link would definitely help. Yeah. Uh. And it's on the list. Uh, I haven't decided between Mihail mechanic or uh, Night Lord uh, mm -hmm. because I just I don't like these. You don't. They like don't them. have an up jump. <laughs> they have so much <laughs> I, ability and can't go upwards. Come yeah, on. I hate it. Well, mechanic is uh, mechanic has an up jump and is going to be able to float in a wake, right? They're going to be able to booster jet and uh, fly around a little bit. Oh, wait, really? I... Yeah, and then fire missiles while they're floating around and shit. They're going to be like mini mini jets or mini xenons. Hmm. It should be interesting. They've, yeah, they've got like a float bar with like thruster, thruster oh, capacity is that the, and shit. The fourth V skill for them? No, no, no. That's uh, it, it's like a mobility rework. Just like the um, oh. Explorer Warriors are getting an up jump, they are getting that as a yeah, as an extra system. Oh, okay. We would have gotten it a while ago, but because they decided to bundle all of the skill re uh, rebalance, the job rebalancing mm -hmm. into Awake, we have been having to wait a little bit longer than that. So some people even forgot that uh, that, that was still coming. And because it's mechanic, <laughs> nobody really gives that much yeah. <laughs> of a shit about mechanic. So, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I fed my mechanic a lot of sushi. It's probably 149 right now. Oh, yeah. But it, <laughs> you know, just... And it's got like, uh, what is it, mercury poisoning or something? <laughs> what happens when you get too much su sushi, like heavy metals, right? <laughs> yeah, no, that's why it does zero damage. Yeah, mercury poisoning. <laughs> Not that it's, its main attack and skill does two lines. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Just, you gotta use all the ro little robots, dude. Just get them all out there. Get the whole yeah, but... bomb squad going. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm leaning towards mechanic just because of how hard it was to get to 140. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, whatever that, gives you the... As long as you're thinking about that, then that's uh, fine. It seems that one... Um, it's going to be one tear burn in, the, like, this Wednesday and then one in 16th of December, so you have some time to figure that out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, that's the thing with Legion, right? If you, if you get a lot of levels on many different characters, you build your Legion level a lot but you kind of lose the efficiency of the characters you put in the grid, right? Because if there's like 12 characters in your, or right now there are like 20 characters in your grid that all could have one extra hex that they cover, then that basically 20% critical rate that you could be getting just through the access that you already have right now. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you know, that's like ideal scenario. But then with that, you would also gain, so it's like 60, 20, so 1.2K, so that would also be two, uh, well, that'd be one rank, two ranks. That'd be close to three ranks extra. So that would also be three extra characters. And yeah, if you add all that up, it ends up being a lot. But again, there's a time constraint there, of course. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, as long as you're thinking Eventually. about the yeah. 
Yeah, eventually. Okay. Yeah, you have a you have a pretty patient outlook there, so that's good. That's why you're still around, right? You got that. Yep. <laughs> that patience now, not as yeah, pressure yeah. to 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 perform immediately. Yeah, no, especially since, you know, my bossing party all left me except for <laughs> Reno. Pathfinder brothers. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, Shout like out. I'm not racing to keep up with levels. I'm not you know, not anymore. Uh, yeah. You know, not you know. I'm still proud that of that. You know, proud of the fact that I was the first to 235 out of the group. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you um, did. You did show them. Yep. Uh, but you know, so there's not really a rush to 250. Um, just take my time. I got really close to burning out getting to to 235. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Yeah. No, just log in every day. Do the stuff. <laughs> get out. That should be the slogan, dude. It's like Maple Story. Just log in every day. <laughs> that should be their. Uh, they should take that one. Oh, uh, yeah. Pirat Kala says that the Mihal Royal Guard is going to be fixed and be client sided in the wake. That'll be interesting. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for the Lumi TP. My God, that, that looks, looks so good, so right? So nice. Yeah. <laughs> With the uh, in equilibrium, it was like fup, 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 fup. <laughs> it was so fast. I was just trying to smash the button to make it as fast as possible. I could. I don't think I could even keep up with how how fast it was. It was able to go. It was crazy. Oh, yeah, you could have gone faster. So if you jump first in equilibrium, you can uh, you actually can dash or left and right once and up and down once. Um, so if you do like a short hop, you can double teleport. And yeah, I, I was doing that near the end when I was like on the top left. I was like trying to do like the jump teleporter because I remembered that because that's what you do in uh, Spirit yeah. Savior, right? To get like to get around faster with equilibrium, you like jump and then oh. you can double teleport and shit. Uh, mine's two hundred five. I haven't even thought about Spirit Savior. On. <laughs> good, <laughs> good, because that will give you nightmares. <laughs> yeah. At least now. Yeah. So hopefully with that new teleport, that'll make it a little bit juicier. Because even with me with my ping. Um, I, I think it looked better than it would usually be for me though, because there's literally no one on that server, right? So my connection is probably really good. Um, but yeah, you were just zooming all over the place. Now, if only Lumi can figure out how to teleport, like jump teleport, we'll be good to go. Yeah. <laughs> that would be funny how they would go for like one of the worst mobilities in the game to like one of the best ones. Yeah. Rip Kana. Rip Kana. I mean, they went from being like one of the best mobbers and one of the worst bossers to to kind of like flipping right when uh when kishin got nerfed you had to go to bigger maps which made lumi not happy and then with the baptism of light and darkness their bossing actually got a lot more damage and actually made them pretty good bossers so they almost kind of like flipped on their uh their identity there yeah no uh i mean once again by lumi's only a little baby 205 but it, yeah. the bossing on it has been phenomenal so far <laughs> i just so. i'd press reflect i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> well no bossing's ender you just hold ender down yeah ender yeah you wait for Things equilibrium die. and then ender them yeah 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 everything else uh looks pretty solid i can't think of anything oh except we didn't mention familiars at all but you have those right you have ied familiars yeah, I've got two 15% IED familiars. Uh, I've got two that uh, one gives a small increase to mezzo and drop rate, one uh, just gives small drop rate. Uh, and then I've got two party healing, mm. you know, small party healings for when we do lucid. Um, and then I've got five red cards coming on Wednesday. True. You got that quiz result yep. right or what was it the no, draw uh just the random raffle the random raffle no pirat is the the nerd not me yeah yeah pirat kala got the uh rank five or something in the test right yep god i scored so horribly on that um i guess the one thing is uh i don't know if people do it immediately but sometimes for 245 people start moving on to moonbridge that's my plan yeah yeah and then you'll probably start getting a lot of cards um and at that point, you can start doing what JHK is doing, right? You just like throw them all into a pile and start revealing them on Epic. Yep. And then hopefully and then, you can get some boss damage. Yeah, no, uh, boss damage would be much appreciated right now. Uh, if I when I hit, you know, four set superior Galax, that's what thirty percent. 
so that'll yeah. put the the damages at least closer together that'll be nice yeah oh yeah you did mention uh, that you wanted to get rid of some of the ied um definitely but too. definitely keep your emblem the way it is um oh yeah yeah just yeah just focus on the weapon for that just wanted to make sure yep. to mention that yeah because yeah, even it just it's so pretty you know three <laughs> useful lines with, i think uh, i have the, the same on my I um think... i think my marksman has the same potential right now on his weapon and the uh, mobile also like like i could probably do better but this is also kind of good or the mercedes I mean, or something i don't know like one of my characters has this as well yeah and all of my damage gets through so i don't have to do any calculations it's like <laughs> yeah. for lucid it's six percent um that doesn't go through so yeah. that's yeah yeah your numbers might be bigger but yeah. i can move the health bar haha <laughs> yeah exactly yeah functionally functionally you're like close to 100 at this point yeah Gotta get some people with with a few debuffs and then it's uh or get like a paladin who does a fifty percent debuff on the boss. <laughs> yeah, we tried to get a paladin, but no, he wanted to stay with his hero. Oh boo! <laughs> Imagine actually bursting instead of instead of debuffing and bursting. Yeah, no. And now that Arena has left me and gone to the, the shade world, <laughs> yes, you know there'll be <laughs> the two shadow realm. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah, you, now you could just do even more lines. He just wants to empower you. Yep. It's all in service of the of the arc uh, of the Pathfinder the arc. Lol. Yep. Because you know Pathfinder best class. Exactly. You heard it here first, chat, and last. Yep. And all the time. <laughs> <laughs> if you're ever in the chat, you'll hear it a lot. Yeah, I, yeah. It's just Galax is uh, majorly stonewalling you right now. So that's yep. that's the Galax main thing. And then yeah. 5, 10, 15. I mean, I would take a 30% too, just to get everything, like, to get the belt to 15 and, you know, the pat mark to, to 15 or 16. Yeah, yeah, 30% could definitely 30. still be useful, yeah, for sure. So just start prepping. That's what I did on my marksman as well. Just get all the stuff that I knew I wanted to get to 21, get all of that stuff to 15 already. And just, yeah, just the patience approach, the, uh, the efficiency approach, one step at a time. But yeah, I would take either, so... Yep, for sure. I think in some situations, even 30% can be cheaper if you're going up to 22. Um, but your average Oof. booms goes up from like 2.5 to like 9 to 10, I think. So it's like something you would only consider for CRA, for example. Yeah, no. 21 is free, 22 is hell. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> yeah, no, I would... Yeah, I wouldn't aim that high uh, in your current situation. Not because, oh, like... No. I don't. Uh, I don't think you could do it or anything. But because even if you can do it, it's an inefficient way of of increasing your range. Yeah. Sorry, puppers, protecting from <laughs> literally nothing. He feels some vibes in the air. It's, it's okay, doggo. The corona can get you through the internet. Um. Yeah. But uh, all in all, I think you've covered pretty much all of your bases. I guess inner ability yep. is something that just only is going to come into play much later, right? Uh, probably, if ever. You know, if we ever start moving to, like, you know, Dark Nell or the weird orb thing or um, <laughs> Vihela, then yep. I'll worry about IA then. Exactly. But. I mean, I'm talking to you about your inner ability, but my arc essentially has the same one. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's good to have the luxury, though, that you don't need any functional stuff from your inner ability so you can just sit on that and not feel too bad like you're missing out on a whole lot that's really that's a good feeling though yep uh i got 44 percent buff rate uh buff duration on the lumi on accident that on was accident. fun that's a good accident yeah uh unfortunately it's top line and i still need plus one attack yeah but until then it still feels really nice to be in equilibrium yeah you know, 70 mm -hmm. of the time yeah, I think my uh, Demon Slayer has that as well. Like a huge line of, um, of buff duration helps with s uptime of some stuff. And even if it's not, you know, damage-wise, the best ever. It's a really good placeholder, so. Gives a fuck. Yeah, your symbols are coming in on nicely too, so. Yep, yeah, uh, I think uh, VJ should be maxed towards the end of December, and then Arcana should be right behind it. 
Yep, um, Arcana goes goes uh, brr, right? Yep. Well, now that I understand Spirit Savior. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you get those ten guaranteed on top of the oh yeah the daily kills, and you only have to do one kill quest, right? Yep. Oh, one, one kill, kill quest, quest, eight symbols. That's so juicy. Uh, but yeah, no. And then I should hit two forty five either the end of this month or middle of next month. Mm. Um, which will reduce the more ass. Yep. Uh, kill quest. Nice. No more yep. pesky. <laughs> nah, because you can still get memory glasses. Memory glasses. Just, uh, yeah. The chance is just lower. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know if you have any. Did you get any magnificent souls? Because I see that your soul mm -hmm. on your weapon is mm -hmm. not really amazing. I nice. got one magnificent soul out of 83 chances. Oh, yeah, true. You got the Ursus. Ugh. Yep. And then I didn't realize it was Magnificent at the time and was just throwing stuff in the book and then all of a sudden I had a dot in the middle of the book. <laughs> oh, Ursus. no. Okay, and so you, got, even roll it. you had one Magnificent and it was Ursus yep. and it's in the book right now. Okay, so this yep. is a combination of... Well, it's this, what, what tier is Ursus again? Is it tier S or tier A? Yeah, I think it's tier S. Yeah, it's, he's like surprisingly high. Yep. Uh, I think he's the same level as Ark. Was... Or she, excuse me. She, for Ark. Yeah, she, uh. No, I think Ark is lower. I think Ark is A, and then Ursus is S, I think? Yeah, Arcarium is A, and Ursus is S, yeah. Oh, yeah, Pink Bean is also S. The Ursus and Pink Bean always surprised me that those are actually so high. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then tier A is just Ark and all of the, all of the knights. And then Papalatas, even if you get it from Chaos Pop, is only tier B. <laughs> On the same Thanks. tier as normal Hilla. It's like, ugh. Oof. And Von Leon. Ugh. And then everything rank D doesn't even have a Magnificent. I don't think I've ever fought any of those. In, no? In tier D. Nope. Prison Guard Ani Pianist, maybe? Nope. It's a pretty good leveling spot, dude. Oh. Well, everything I have is over 140 now, so... Yeah. Yeah, that's that's about the point where it starts falling off. But it's actually pretty yeah. good experience if if nobody's really there and every map has two of them. You just go in, boom, boom. Oh, okay. You can get a lot of potions they... as well that you can NPC and some cubes every now and then. Didn't they remove Xerxes? Like, wasn't he part of the Hello stuff way back when? Uh, he was part of uh, Chrysi, like the um, like the Greek, uh, like a Greek, oh, a Greek yeah. themed area. Yeah, it's a it's still a PQ, but I don't think you can get the soul shards anymore now. Oh, and Ephenia, if you're uh, if you're playing DA, Ephenia is a best in slot one. Yeah. Who does Gold Beach, man? No, it's all about the Academy <laughs> and then um, the Rian Street. Come on. It's all about Captain Dark Goo, dude. Nah. <laughs> Black slime. Um. Okay. Well, I think I think yeah. we covered everything. Yeah. We got your long-term plans, your short-term plans. Um, a few extra things to work on without you know going too much into cutting into your day. Yeah. Um. Hey, uh, if you're looking for content to make, um, a how to do Lucid on the Marksman would actually be super helpful. Just yeah, except throwing I, that out I hate Lucid on the Marksman. <laughs> That's why I need it. <laughs> uh, uh, lucid on Archers is just the worst. Yeah, you've got to... Yeah, some things you can do. You're kind of limited. For Marksman, it's just like, hold on to that iframe as long as possible. Yeah, it's yeah. Based, my basic plan with the Pathfinder 2. And it's got like a three minute cooldown, so. Yep, yep, same for Marksman, it's pretty rough. <laughs> Arino, I know I play Pathfinder. Uh, his Pathfinder is 210. Best I don't finder. think it's Lucid ready. No, wait, am I even 210? I think I'm 200 even. <laughs> oh, come on. What can I do with 200? Oh, I can do uh, I can do Davian on a level 200 Pathfinder. Show you the mechanics. Hell yeah. Just don't die. Uh, yeah. Damien, it's still... So I can solo Damien. It just mm -hmm. takes me 20 minutes because he's literally never there. 
Yeah, right. and there's nothing you can... You, can you, like, up jump and use the macro to get, like, three hits nope. in? Nope. Does uh, the him? ult... There are two ways that I can hit him while he's up there shooting Cheetos. Green uh, arrow. Raven Tempest... Yeah, Raven Tempest hits him, and then the purple uh, uh, Astra, you can aim up and hit him. Oh, yeah. The the bomb one. Yep. And if, and if you have the green arrow hitting him right before he goes up, then it, like, zigzags through him a little bit, I guess. Yeah, uh, I don't use the green arrow most of the time. Hmm. Uh, well, yeah, I think I noticed that, that he wasn't in your matrix, right? Nope, uh, I think it's level 12 right now. Um, so it's not like I haven't been leveling it. It's just, uh, you know, between the macro shooting off a whole bunch of the little arrows. and Yeah, does that kind of like KS the green arrow? A little bit. I don't I tried using the green arrow to farm and it just wasn't doing anything. So I It just I keeps returning to you and just like sticking behind your back rather than actually going off and killing things. Yeah, basically. Mm. Um so when I'm not soloing stuff, I normally replace uh Air de Nova with the um uh, the big bird, whatever yeah. it's actually called. Yeah, um, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I call it yeah. big bird too. <laughs> or uh, purple then, bird or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then Shadow Ravens doing something 100% of the time. It's either in Tempest or it's Big Bird form. Yep. Hmm. So. Maybe it's more when you go to Moonbridge where you more rotate maps that the Green Arrow will actually have more targets to hit when they're respawning. Because, but if you're like standing still in CLP, then everything within range is already dying to you. Oh, who trains at CLP? Gross. You don't? Is it nah, the easiest I experience ever? I, I moved to uh, MTS too. I got tired of fighting over maps. Oh yeah. And I get roughly the same rates. So. Okay. See, so it's like face left, face right, face left, face right. Yeah. Loot. What am I gonna watch on on Netflix today? <laughs> yeah. Like, what educational show am I gonna use to expand my brain power? Yeah. Ooh, two and a half men. <laughs> oh. The pinnacle of <laughs> intellect. <laughs> Hashtag winning. <laughs> Tiger blood. Didn't, like, yeah. Ashton Kutcher take over that show or something? Uh, I think he did for the last season, yeah. And it was the last season, thank God. Yeah. I wonder how much money you made in that just one season. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. All right. Um, you've got work stuff to do? I probably should get started on it. Yeah. Uh, they, they broke all of my servers, and I have to break into them. <laughs> they and broke your servers? What? Uh, they migrated, so we've got like eight test servers that we've been doing the development for my, my project on, and mm -hmm. they moved it from one set of storage to a much cheaper set of storage. Um, but when they do that, like, it's a different virtual network, and so all of the IP addresses for all of them are, you know, null. So, oh. yeah. Normally, I have a way to automatically go in and, like, change passwords and all that other fun stuff. Uh, from one central location, but that only works if they can, you know, get to the network. Yeah. So I have to like reroute it. Or... Yeah, I have to break into each of the servers uh, <laughs> and actually break in because we don't have local accounts. Um, and then did you leave like a? Do you, do you have like a back door that you left or something? Uh, so you can break into any Linux-based system if you know how, uh, oh. and can get to the console, like the, the boot up screens. I see. Yeah. So, and if you want to learn how, just Google it. It's really not hard. It takes like five minutes, uh, at least for Red Hat. Is that because it's Linux, which is like open source or? Uh, yeah. And it's sort of. Um, yeah, you know, I did, that's how much I know. So I don't yeah, think no, it's, it's too fun. complicated then. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, server or system administration is not my forte. Uh, I know a lot more about the cloud. Uh, so it's it's definitely an interesting project to have to go in and fix all this stuff. It's not something I've ever had to do before. Because in AWS, you just go, oh, hey, I can't get to the system anymore. Oh, well, delete it, recreate it. Hey, look, I can get in now. Wait, <laughs> delete yeah. or recreate it, really? Yeah, uh, that's one of the big benefits of the cloud and one of the reasons why Nexon's use of sure. AWS is so fucking cringe. Oh, they're missing the whole point of the cloud. But we, I can talk for like an hour <laughs> on that and I don't think you have the time for that. 
Um, well, I don't think you have the time for that. You got some breaking in to do. Oh, oh yeah, there's that too. You gotta, uh, well, if, if you ever want a cloud class, let me know. Oh, yeah, for sure. Up. I know who to go to. Make sure yeah. when you're breaking in, make sure you use the um, the background music from the... Um, did you ever see the Ocean's Eleven movie? Yeah. With like the French guy when he's like dancing through mm -hmm. the lasers and shit. Make sure you play that in the background while you're breaking in, just so you feel okay. like a real hacker man. <laughs> no, no, no. I just, you know, I just say to myself, I'm in I mean every time. <laughs> <laughs> you do like the fake hacker thing on the on a computer sometimes yep. you like, <laughs> like jam. <them>. Yep. <laughs> That's basically what you're going to be doing for the next uh, few hours. Basically, yeah. Cool. Well, uh good luck with that. I think yeah, I think your plan was pretty well worked out. I think we dotted some okay. I's and crossed some T's, but in general, I think you had uh pretty much figured out. Well, what else can I expect from a loyal viewer of mine who's already soaked in all of the resources that I have, so you already have access okay. to and you're yeah. using it properly, so. Yeah, like, you know, exclamation point checklist. Yeah, like that one. <laughs> but but freezer <laughs> emote every now and then. <laughs> oh, I didn't know we had a buff freezer emote. That's yeah, they made out. that after I forgot buff freezers twice on the hard lucid run. <laughs> ooh, ooh, come on. Um, but yeah, no, someone's got to be the new yeah. support. There we go. Support desk. <laughs> it's just literally the buff freezer, buff freezer check. Yeah, stuck a minute. Oh, there it is. Freezer check. <laughs> I'll just start spamming it whenever I have a boss. You know. Yep. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, cool. Keep doing Monster Park if you can. Yep, I'm doing it on the Lumi. That um, one's useful. Yep. Other than that, yeah, slow and steady. And if anything major pops up, either I'll make a video or you just hit me up if you're wondering. Yeah, definitely. And don't forget about that uh, Barksman Lucid. Yes, I, uh, I, yeah, I've been mean, meaning to make something with Lucid. I wanted to do it with a Cannoneer with like a full party, but I haven't been able to clear a run yet with that guy, with a party yet. So it's been difficult to look, man. Yeah, you know, you know I'm, I'm on my last life. <laughs> Yeet! <Yeah. laughs> <It> just jumps <laughs> off. <laughs> man, it's, it's such a shame that clip is gone now. That was so I beautiful. Know. But now the memory is even better because now. We, you could just embellish it in your mind of how funny it, it was hilarious though. <laughs> Forever in our hearts, JHK. Yeah, that What's should have been JHK? edited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, I'm on my life, last life too, by the way, guys. Jumps into Dragon Breath. Beautiful. Oh. Okay, um, but yes, good luck. Yep, thanks. And I'll uh, see you around in chat and in Discord and everywhere. Oh, definitely. All right, uh, have a good day at work. Out. All right, see ya. There uh, we go. Oh yeah, wait, wait, plug time. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you would also like a gear or account progression session, follow the link in the description, and I can help you on your way to becoming the most proest mapler ever.